Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today I'm in the beautiful and very historic city of Jerusalem. I'm actually visiting the old city of Jerusalem and I'm just a couple of hundred meters outside Zion Gate from the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. In this particular video we're going to visit a very important and very historic Christian site. We're going to visit Dormition Abbey that was built in 1900 over the house where Virgin Mary lived at after the death of Christ. It is also in this place that she died a few years later after his death. So this is Vic. Let's go for a walk. Let's enjoy the architecture of this magnificent building and finally we're going to get down to the crypt so we can view the actual spot where Virgin Mary died. This is Vic. Let's go for a tour. Let's do it. Okay guys, I have just crossed Zion Gate. I have exited the old city of Jerusalem and I crossed Zion Gate from the walls of the old city. And here, right away, I can see the beautiful round shape of the Mission Abbey. It can be seen from kilometers away here in Jerusalem because it's built on top of Mount Zion. This abbey that you see here is very very important to the Christians because this is the place where Mary, Virgin Mary, the mother of Christ, lived after the death of Christ. And this is the place of her death. It is a very, very crowded, very unpleasant at times place because of the crowds. Here's the central courtyard. Here's the entrance of the abbey. Let's go this way, let's fight the crowds and let's view the interior of this fascinating abbey, the beautiful mosaics and also let's go down to the crypt. Come on. Unfortunately, the only way we can see and enjoy this beautiful church is with the huge crowds around us. You can see them right there. There is a huge crowd arriving every couple of minutes. Let's start with the altar here, which includes a magnificent mosaic right there of Virgin Mary holding Christ. Beautiful, beautiful mosaic. Not to be forgotten are the beautiful mosaic floors of the church. You can spend hours just admiring the design of the floors. Look at this. Keep in mind the church was built in 1900 and a lot of care was given to its design, architecture and also decoration. Here's a simple altar with a beautiful floor and around the church we find six chapels, three on each side. There are three more chapels on that side. Let's visit just a couple of them so we can admire the beautiful mosaics around the chapels. Look at this. Absolutely magnificent. We thought the Byzantines could really build beautiful mosaics up to the 15th century. Keep in mind these are early 
20th century mosaics and they're absolutely beautiful. Let's look at the other one here with beautiful colors. Right there, a Virgin Mary holding Christ in blue clothing and the saints kneeling next to her and praying. Beautiful Byzantine style designed mosaics. Let's uh, come to the other side and admire the mosaics of these three chapels here. Another one of Virgin Mary holding Christ surrounded by angels. Here's a mosaic of Saint John the Baptist. Perfect, absolutely beautiful. And the last mosaic here that we're going to see. Very, very different in design. Latin in character. Catholic in character, right here. And uh, in the back of the church, we find a staircase that would lead us down to a chapel indicating the place where Virgin Mary died or slept. A very, very busy place indeed. Let's go down the steps carefully and let's see what's happening down there. It is really a very, very busy place down here. This is the site where Virgin Mary died at. This is the altar of the chapel down here. You can see the beautiful columns of the chapel. It is always, always extremely crowded down here with people praying and singing and unfortunately taking lots of photographs using flash. But let's go close and let's view what's happening once again. Come on. And this is what this holy place looks like once the crowds leave. Look how beautiful it is. This is the crypt, once again, where Virgin Mary died at, where she slept. You can see a statue of her right there. There's a beautiful canopy here in the middle of the crypt. Let's walk around before the crowds come downstairs again.
let's enjoy a view of the place down here. We saw the mosaics in one of the previous clips of the canopy. And here at the very back, there's an altar. We saw that as well, but we didn't see too many details. There are smaller chapels all over the place with beautiful mosaics everywhere. And look how beautiful the scene is from here when there is no noise but peace to concentrate and to pray to the mother of Jesus. You can see what a big difference it makes when the crowds leave. There are no flashes from photographs. Just beautiful, quiet views of this holy place. Beautifully designed, isn't it? Here's a very last view. And now, let's go outside. Here come the crowds. Let's get out. This way. And uh, in closing this video, here's a view of the Dormition Abbey from a different angle. See how beautiful it is. It is actually stunning and it can be seen from many kilometers around Jerusalem. Now you can hear a lot of people praying and singing here because right across the street is the place of the Last Supper and a Jewish synagogue as well. They are waiting to enter the place of Last Supper. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from the old city of Jerusalem. What an experience it has been. Bye-bye.